hello everyone welcome back again um, it's been a while since i posted a video and i know you guys will be wondering why i haven't been posting videos lately while well, i was away and i couldn't be um making those videos well after returning i just um find out that my my game is uh not um, launching and I just uh, decided to find a, a solution to that, and I know most of us, uh, most of the guys out there, must be facing a, the same problem. So since I have the solution here, I'll just right away share it with you guys, so that in case you're having the same problem, then um, you can just use this and then fix that problem. All right, so let's get started and then let's see how and what I'm really talking about here. let's launch the game here so I'll just go ahead and then launch my FIFA 22 and just click on the play all right so the, the plan is the game launches. all right the game is launching well but after it launches the game just closes it just it just quit all right so let's see how it is you see uh, that's that the, the, the game just closes just like that I don't know why so I uh, I just looked into it and uh, there are some things that I, I should have done or something uh, that's, that's something that is causing this to happen so uh, let's just um, jump straight to the, the, the solution here so before that um, I'll just uh, all right, let me close this one first. So we have this here, which is DirectX. So if you don't have that one installed, you just go ahead and install it. It's within most of the game. So um, if you have any game, then it's probably within those game files or that stuff. So you can just go to the internet and then search for DirectX and download it to yourself. Or you can just comment down below and then I can share a link with you. Then you can just go and then download it yourself. So just have to launch it and accept just like that. Oh, I can just keep this one for the time being, but I'll just come back to that one later. But for now, I just um, just have to leave that one. So let's install this one first. So after we are done, it says the component installed are now ready for use. So let's just click on the finish and let's try and see how things will, will turn out to be. But I don't really think this is going to actually launch the game or something, but this is also part of that thing. So let's just check it out. All right. So let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Game to launch again. And all right, all right, it closes again. So um, let's also go to another step. Well, you could skip this one, but it's, uh, it's important you install the direct text. So before then, let me um, connect my controller. I'm using um, the PS4 controller here, so I'll just go ahead and co uh, connect the controller. And the next step that we're going to do. Um, actually i just figured this um this will be the the main cause of the the problem so before we we, we go to um that second uh step we, we just have to have an internet connection so let me just connect my uh my pc to or my my laptop to this wi-fi connection here uh, so it's connected so after this has been connected um, let's wait and see now i have internet access so i'll just go ahead and go to this just right click on the game and then go to um, open file location so i'll go to the file location uh, there i will find this software here it says 
x 360c uh, times 64 so i really think this is the main uh, reason why the game is you know doing that stuff so i'll just delete the whole thing but i'll just go ahead and delete this file here <clears throat> Okay, and then I will come again and and delete this one too. Um, yeah, let's delete this one, and then now let's launch this um, X360C, and we are going to launch that as an administrator. And uh, but before then, we will have to have an internet connection. So we click on the create here. Uh, and we just wait for this interface to show and we select up search the internet for um, you know your 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 game controller configuration so uh, when you select this um, it's going to automatically search for your game controllers um, configuration so you, you won't have to waste time configuring your controller so you just have to click on the search wait for it to search and um, just like that you see everything is marked and you click on the finish All right so after clicking on that you see that your controller is actually uh, showing and everything is set automatically for you and everything is really working fine so uh, what you need to do now is to click on save just click on that save and you just can close this one okay so after closing um, there is still one more thing we need to do and that is um let's go to um the origin account or in case you're you're playing the the cracked version and i think um that would be that or maybe you're missing some files inside the game or i don't know but if you're playing with origin then you go to um um the the game uh, you, you open origin you go to my library and then you just find uh, uh the game the fifa 22 i'm not i'm not really talking about fifa 22 maybe fifa 21 or 19 or any other um game so you just select the game and you right click on that and you just click on update um game so just click on update game and you're going to see uh this uh yeah you're going to see something like this it says verifying game files so here um um, uh, you, um your your origin is going to actually uh, verify um the files within the game so in case uh, some of the files are damaged or some are missing then origin is going to um, automatically place those files for you or going to add those files to the game so if that is what is causing the game not to launch then actually after doing this then it means that uh, your game is going to launch so without wasting much time I'll just um, pause the video here and wait while um, um, this this updates just try to go on so just like that so let's just pause the video here and then wait and see how things will be okay actually uh, well the file size is not that much i, I didn't know that we're going to have but it says 6.67 megabyte all right so it's just downloading so well my internet connection speed is really poor but this won't take long see it's, it's really um, a bit faster so I'll just just have to leave it like that I'll just have to leave it so let's just wait while the files are being updated okay so finalizing uh, the update i don't know how things are going to be after this so after this i'm just going to launch the game and see if we are going to actually have any um, 
changes or something so let's just wait whilst um, the process just finish okay um, well it's done now so let's just uh, try and see Oh, oh, let's let's just run the game and see what's what's going to happen now. Let's now see whether it's going to work fine with us. Whoa, you can see it's now working. It's really working now. Well, it's really working. It's really working now. All right, all right, all right. Everything is working perfect. It's again. It's working perfect. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm having that going to our life that. So actually that's that that's how you can fix this um problem. I actually uh, I just went through a whole lot of um trouble finding this kind of a solution. I it's not like uh, um um just going straight to origin, just update the game and it's going to, sometimes you go there and it'll just tell you everything is fine, you're not having any problem. That's why I um, just started with the other um, solution so so uh, after you, you you install your directx you can just run the game and check whether it's, um, it's running or working so after that you see when it's it's not working then you go to the second one that I showed you already um, the the one that you have to um, just uh, um, delete this files and just re reinstall the distance yeah so you, you do that one too and then you try launching the game and and most at times um, this is what really causes the game not to launch I've just um, seen this several times and yeah but in this case um, we didn't have this problem so it was just an um, missing file I believe so after we did the update everything is working fine now so guys thank you very much um thank you for um joining me again and please um in case you're having any problem you can just comment down below um i'll just try find solutions to those problems and i'll make a video on that and we all can enjoy the game peacefully uh, well my next video is going to be a very exciting one and i know most of, of the guys they are already into the game so i won't be <laughs> talking much about that but still uh, fifa is the game that most people are now playing so um it's really uh something like everyone wants to know how to play the game so i'll just make a video uh, just a very quick one on how you can just start learning how to play the game and become a very professional i don't know <laughs> Uh, play or something though you can just play online games and then win against other opponents and that stuff so thank you guys again um hope you meet me there and then we all um learn together all right bye